Well, often people are appointed into a PMO role, be that administrative support or maybe subject matter expert support or perhaps PMO management roles. Often they're moved into those roles from either some non-project management related function or because they've been a good project manager. However, those people often struggle to see PMO management and especially the more strategic roles around PMO management as a career in itself because they often don't have the accreditations, uh, the training roadmap and the career path laid out in front of them. Now the great thing about P3O is that it provides great clarity for an individual in what are the different roles that you may aspire to, even if you start off from an administrative type role, what are the different roles that you may aspire to, to develop your career in the project, program and portfolio management environment. Um, it, it provides um, insight, it provides knowledge, it provides an understanding of the opportunities and the career development needs. But it also, of course, provides an accreditation, uh, which will uh, yeah, give you some authority and some fuel to, uh, to confidently apply for further jobs and develop your career in this space. Other than that, the great thing about P3O, and particularly the portfolio management area, is that portfolio management is all about balancing your business as usual resources and investment versus your investments into uh, building the business and developing new initiatives. Now that means that in portfolio management, so also in the more senior roles around P3O, there's a natural interface on strategic level between P3O and the business. That means that for the people who work in that space, there's great opportunity to link into senior business roles and therefore uh, if, if their ambition is to develop their career in that way, uh, there's a great interface and bridge from the P3O environment into further corporate environments.